and welcome back to another episode of Dumb It Down. Yes, the show where we keep you on top of some crazy antics that have happened over the last couple of weeks and cut out all the irrelevant shit in between. Quite literally, dumbing it down. So, Lauren. So, Ethan. I want to know, what are we going to be dumbing down this week? Well, as most of you are probably aware, in the UK, we can't seem to keep a decent Prime Minister for at least five minutes. And unfortunately, for all of us lovely people here in the UK, we are now trying to overcome the biggest cost of living crisis Britain has probably ever faced. Mm -hmm. I know. The impact of the cost of living crisis has become a great deal around Britain recently. Mm -hmm. Students are currently suffering to be able to even afford food as well as transport. Yeah. As you know, students who are getting regular and timely payments are solely relying on the government to be able to afford basic needs. I know. Food, transport and rent for accommodation have affected them. Students are sharing their experience through TikTok and Instagram with many advocating saving hats. It's great, isn't it, TikTok I and Instagram? I love it. It's for, so, for things you know, like this, it's brilliant. So good. Um, and as we know, this is a pretty big worry for most of the majority of the working class. But we wanted to help you out a little bit here on Dumb It Down. So earlier this week, Emily and Tilly from the team went on a mission to help make a cheap meal idea. Yes, they did. A mission about how we can all budget our food shop and making meals a little more efficiently and honestly what a great idea because I don't know about you but I love going to nice restaurants I love eating out and that is probably where I spend most of my disposable income all of mine goes to a Bill's breakfast after a night out. Mm, you love a Bill's breakfast, don't you? Oh, they're the and I best. bet you only go for the big sausage. Mm. No, <laughs> the sausage is at 3am and it's got to be a bad one from the shop. Oh, it's got to be a battered one. It's got to be a battered one. <laughs> well, enough about your sausages. Uh, let's see how Emily and Tilly found their cheap meal ideas that suit any budget. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Tilly. This week we went on a hunt to find the cheapest ingredients to make a good meal. In this trying economy, a meal needs to be three things. Easy, cost efficient and, and tasty. Nothing takes that box like a creamy bowl of pasta. This recipe stretches to about three or four meals depending on portion size. We did some research for price comparisons at some major supermarkets. Sainsbury's, Asda, Tesco and Audi. Yo, this is Malcolm. I'm going to talk about the ingredients right now. So sit back, relax, and listen to my beautiful voice. Starting with the sauce, we're going to pour one and a half spoons of olive oil into the pan. Now, this specific oil is cheaper in Audi than any other major supermarkets, knocking 30% off your shopping list. Crazy, right? Then we're going to chop up half an onion, two cloves of garlic, and a handful of Straight to the now as we swiftly and quickly move on to the pasta that we're using today can be found 20p cheaper in Audi than any other average supermarket that you go to. Now that we've filled the bowl up with boiling water, we're going to add some salt. And we're going to bring this over to the pot. As for onions, Loose fruits and veggies are often cheaper than pre-packaged. You can find them from an average price of 42p per onion at each shop, while being half the price at Aldi. Look at that. Garlic is found for roughly the same price at all of these places as well. We found that tomato puree is around 20p cheaper in Aldi than in Sainsbury's and Asda, but only 10p cheaper in Tesco's. Now we're going to add in some double cream. Now, all of this may seem like you're saving too much, but when you look at your overall, all the ingredients we have in front of us, you can find for £3.97 in Audi, which is £2 cheaper than Asda and Sainsbury's, and an amazing £7 cheaper than Tesco's. Emily and Tilly in the studio. Woo! How are we doing, 
amazing, guys. Good, thank really you. Good. Good. Well, obviously, you are part of the Dumb It Down team, but it is very rare that you get to sit on our lovely <coughs> sofa with us, being live yes. on TV. They're comfy, aren't they? They are. Yeah, I'm very, very excited fancy. to see you. <laughs> <there. Yeah. laughs> so, of course, being part of the Dumb It Down team, it is very, very important to us that we give all our viewers great tips, great hacks. Mm -hmm. And, of course, after watching your video there, making your pasta, that was a really good idea to help people who are on a budget to make their meal. Yeah. So can you tell everybody, all our lovely viewers, how much that cost you roughly, how many portions you get out of that meal? Yeah. What was So um, to make a, a meal of that size, it was four portions probably, um, and all the ingredients cost less than five pounds. Five pounds. Yeah, and a lot of the stuff you might already have in your cupboards at home, like, like oil, yeah. spices, tomato puree, things like that. You've got a bit mm. of tomato puree. And yeah. pasta as well. I mean, and pasta, pasta as well, pasta. yeah, everyone seems to have pasta. And yeah, so it costs about 60p per portion, including all of the ingredients. I mean, oh 60p gosh. per portion. And did you use all of those ingredients for no, the No, we one? only used about half of the ingredients. So, oh, wow. Yeah, makes so you can make like double the amount of four. Eight to ten yeah. eight, Depending eight, on wow. portion sizes. So if you're a big family, obviously, exactly. to go out and do a family, food shop yeah. at the moment is so expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So if we're looking at 60p per portion, if you're making pasta, if you're using a whole packet of pasta anyway, Obviously, you can Tupperware it, exactly. put it in your fridge, put it in your freezer, yeah. and yeah, you put it for the whole week. So Meal prep for uni students as well. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's so good. And, of course, for all our viewers at home, the ingredients of the recipe can be found on our social media pages so that you too can cook meals on a budget like Emily and Tilly's delicious pasta. Just follow at Dumb It Down on Instagram, TikTok and Snapchat. There's also a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make the dish on all of those socials, so don't forget to check those out. And that was on TikTok, wasn't it? The yes, tutorial? Really yeah. yeah. I love a good TikTok, so oh, should we I give it a watch? Too. Should we? Let's give it a watch. Give it to watch mm. then. You can't beat a good TikTok, can you? Well, you can't beat a good TikTok, but you might be able to beat it with this pasta. What are we thinking? It looks amazing. It does look gorgeous, doesn't it? Oh, I can smell it from here as well. Ooh, oh, guys, delicious. if you cook this fresh for yeah, us. Yeah, we cook this fresh today. Especially for yeah. us. Especially for you guys. Oh, wow, that is <laughs> we lovely. We are treated well, aren't we? So should we, should we give it a try? Can we? Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right, let's go. We haven't tried this before. No, so we haven't, This actually. is the first time we're trying it. Oh, we can't even it. pick one up. It does look gorgeous. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wow! That is really nice. Yeah. Oh god, that is so oh, good. I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking, oh! Mm. Really wow. good, really creamy. That is nice. That's coming it's through. Is that, is that the double cream? Did you yeah, use double cream? Double yeah. cream, and yeah. Oh, it's going in for a second. Oh my goodness, well it's getting well a myself. mouthful. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. So, guys, that pasta, sorry, I feel like it's all around my mouth. That pasta. Mm. If we're looking at feeding a family, where is the best place to go? Which which shop are we going to to get the cheapest ingredients for our families? What's the what's the best option? So we actually looked at a few supermarkets mm -hmm. and we figured out that the best prices were found at Aldi. So Aldi. All of the ingredients okay. used for this were found at Aldi. And what are we looking at? What prices are we looking at roughly for Aldi? Like bag of pasta? What are we saying? I know, I know well, that they're 25p at Aldi. Ooh, Bag of, well, spaghetti at least. Mm, there we go. You, so you, could change, you could change all the pasta in that, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, and well? you can switch out some of the ingredients if you really, really like. Of course. Like. Exactly. So, guys at home, if you are looking to get um, some ingredients, Aldi's your best bet, but it is all on our socials, isn't it? Yeah. So, over on uh, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Exactly. All on Dumb It Down. So, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you a little bit yeah. later yeah. in the show. I we'll let you eat the rest. It's, it it's lovely. Oh, I know. Also, it's Please. vegetarian, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Even better. And what do we think, the Ethan? I normally go for a little nice carbonara. Oh, I, lo I love a good tagliatelle, like Ooh, just lovely. any part. So good. But anyways, <laughs> as we all know, the cost of living crisis is something that is impacting us all nationally, in mm -hmm. fact. It is affecting us in so many ways that we may be a little unaware which is quite scary to us as young adults. Well, yeah, exactly. And what's even scarier is being at an age where you're expected to know everything that's going on in the world and how it's impacting us now as well as in the future, when in reality, we don't actually have a clue what's going on. I don't have a clue, do you? No, I no. don't think many people do, Neither actually. Neither does Lindsay, either. Exactly, exactly. look at that. Uh, <laughs> but luckily, for all the people watching at home here at Dumb It Down, we like to make things a little easier to understand and have a little bit of a laugh about it in the meantime, don't we? That is right, because if you don't laugh, 
You cry. You cry. And the only time I've seen you cry is when you're going to McDonald's after a night out and you're trying to scav an employee discount, aren't you? Uh, well, no. <laughs> On that note, well, you know, times are tough. Time we all it. need a good cheap ass Big Mac every mm. once in a while. Mm. That's probably why Liz stepped down so soon. She wanted to go and get one. I know. And do you know what I heard? What? Silly bitch. I what? heard. Oh, 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 oh Liz, <laughs> come back here. What are you doing? I heard oh. that Liz, after she uh, obviously fucked the country up, because she did, didn't she? Yeah. Mm. She was actually seen going into McDonald's no, with, this cap on, with, with this cap on. This exact cap. This exact cap. We've got the Trying exact cap. to scav an employee discount on no. a male chicken. Oh, oh my gosh, what a woman. Although <laughs> Liz Truss has been a great laugh the f past few months, yes. her actions have massively impacted us as UK citizens. Of course, and we wanted to find out what you guys did and didn't know about what's actually going on with our government or whether we need to give you a dumbed-down version. Earlier this week, we sent out more of the Dumb It Down team to ask members of the public their opinions and understandings of current for ah, current, affairs current affairs regarding <laughs> the UK right now. So let's go take a look. Let's take a look. Yo guys, the Smiles here. It's Jason here too. And we're here today on the BCU campus to find out what re people really think about Liz Trust and if they really know who she really is. I'll be real, I don't know nothing, so I'm what, find something out too. This whole time I thought her name was Liz Trust, but you know, we're going to go interview the public and see what they think. Come. Okay guys, we're here with the public. We wanted to know, do you guys know who Liz Trust is? Yep. Yes. What do you know about her? Former Prime Minister. Yep. Yeah, she was Prime Minister for, I think, six weeks. Yeah. Six yeah. weeks. Shortest running Short Prime run. Minister. <laughs> right, I'm here with... Yeah. Good year. And uh, do you know anything about Liz Truss? Nah, nothing. Nothing? Do you know I she just was... know. I know she's Prime Minister for, like, a week. And then she yeah, got... all right. Yeah, my only real knowledge of her comes from TV and just news and stuff from when she ran for a very short period. Why do you not know anything about her? She's, she's gone before I can know anything. <laughs> Alright, cool. Cheers. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I probably got most information from the news, but then it was a lot on social media, like, taking the mick out of her and stuff. Right, I'm here with... Connor Brooks. Can I just say, this guy is tall. <laughs> Alright, so do you know who Liz Truss is? Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, what do you think of her manifestos and stuff like that? It was a load of waffle. It was no wonder that she only lasted about 45 days. Uh, her money, her adding up was all wrong. The money was going down the drain. Oh no. <laughs> I'm honoured outside today to be here on the streets. Asking the public if they know anything about Liz Truss. I'm here with... Bryony. And do you know who Liz Truss is? Yes, she was the last Prime Minister. Resigned after a month. Uh, how do you think you'd find out about Liz Truss? Like, was it through social media, news? Yeah, yeah, social media. Mainly Twitter. Mainly right. to her, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you enjoy the memes and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any way you could tell me anything, like her manifestos or anything? I'm sure it's a dirty raging Tory, so that's about it, really. Right, I'm with... Amira. Do you know anything about Liz Truss? Um, she was Prime Minister for, like, half a term. Do you know anything about her manifestos or anything like that? No, do you think she was a good Prime Minister? No. I'm with... Fun. <laughs> Do you know anything about Liz Truss? Yes, um, she's the last Prime Minister, but she lasted, like, not that long. I'm back, and I'm outside with... Come, 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 come. And I'm here to find out. Do you know anything about Liz Truss? Yeah, yeah, she was the old Prime Minister of um, the UK. Do you know how long she lasted in the, the power? A couple of weeks or something like that. Not long. It wasn't long at all, but, yeah. The only reason why... It was kind of awkward that she didn't last that long was because she didn't last as long as the less on the live stream. As you guys can tell, the public know nothing about Liz Truss. Right, so we're going to be coming to the studio to explain everything about Liz Truss to you. In a dumbed down version. See you soon. And we've got Miles and Jason in the studio, everybody! Oh, <laughs> How are we doing today, guys? How are we feeling? All is well, man. Full up, man. Had that pasta from earlier. Oh, you all got pasta, did you? What do you think? It's good, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? It's nice. It's, nice. it's lovely. Nice <laughs> well, from that short video we just watched, it's quite to see that a lot of people you interviewed didn't really know anything about what's going on with the government at the moment. Well, that's what that's we thought, right. wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But do you guys have a dumbed down version for us and our audience at home? Do we have a dumbed down version? Have you got a dumbed down version? If you have, I want you to speak it loud and clear. Camera two for all our viewers. So what is our dumbed down version, guys? Let me speak to all the guys at home. OK, cool. Well, Liz Truss is our second most recent and shortest serving prime minister. Serving only 45 days. Let's just take a minute. 45, 45 days, days, I know. Days, like it's not long at all, is it, that? Mm. 
Carry on. I would drink a drink if I was you as well. Do you want, do you want a bit of my drink? Go on. Go on. Days. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, she replaced Boris Johnson after a leadership contest caused by his resignation in July of 2022. Mm -hmm. Trust be other candidates such as Rishi Sunak. My uncle. Who is now our current uncle Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. For now. For Let's now. see if he can last longer than Trust. What, what do, do we think? think? Do we think Richie's going to last a little bit longer? Yeah, man. Yeah, well, he's your uncle. Sure. I've got to back my uncle, man. Yeah, exactly. Jason, come on. He's your uncle. Have you got anything to say? Yes, I've got some serious stuff to say On behalf of Richie. Let me look down that camera real quick. Tell him, tell him. All right, cool. Recently, the Chancellor threatened that households on benefits could lose a portion of their entitlement if their search for work is seen as inadequate. This came after the UK had their lowest unemployment rates for 50 years, guys. 50 years. 50, 50. half a century. I know, That's a long time, I know. man. That's it's a long, long time. time. 50. So when it came to Trust deciding whether she was going to res resign or not, it was obvious everyone wanted out. Everyone wanted get her out. Man. Off you go. I get think she out. felt the pressure, do you? I think she felt the pressure as she left. 100%. 100%. So, like, as you can see, the country is quite messed up right now. But hopefully, a dumbed down version makes it a little easier to understand. Mm. And as Troy Bolton once said, we're, we're all in this, this together. together. Oh, oh, Troy. Troy oh, do you know what? Let's oh, give a toast, toast to, to Troy. Cheers, Troy. Shout out, Troy. Oh, you can always rely on him, can't you, for a bit of motivational no, advice. Um, mm. But before we let you guys go, yeah. and myself and Ethan, we actually came across a Twitter page, right? And it was dedicated to things that have lasted longer than Liz Truss. We thought it was quite funny. Mm -hmm. And we've both found this very entertaining. We did. So if you're watching at home and fancy a laugh, head over to the Twitter page, at Longer Than Trust. And we have actually got some of the... <laughs> Uh, of the Twitter oh, we do, do we? Oh, we've got the evidence for you. So here we go. Frozen's run in the cinema lasted 405 days. I can back that, I can back that. Obviously, Truss, 45. So Frozen, clear winner here. Yeah. Clear winner. I was there 404 days, man. You were 404. there 404? Oh, what day did you miss? Sunday, man. I had church one time. You had oh, church. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't rearrange the schedule. <laughs> oh, God. I... What are we thinking? Uh, do, you like, do you like Frozen, guys? Uh, I'm not a fan. Yeah, no, what about Uncle Richie? He's not a fan. He's not a fan no. either. Oh. There we go. What's, that? What's our next one that we've got? 12, 12 pack, pack of toilet, toilet roll. roll. 60 no. days. Now we're getting past it. Rehearsed at all. No, is it? Now we're getting past it. They don't know about these So, uh, for you, Miles, I've heard you have a little bit of trouble. Uh, trouble? Trouble. <laughs> problem with the toilet. That's what I was trying to say. Is this going to last you 60 days, your 12 uh, pack? With what, the IBS, man. 30 days? That's maybe about five days. Five, five days? days. Oh. oh! We don't want to go there, Miles. No, no, we don't. Yeah. I, I, I might suffer right up now. a bit. <laughs> what we got next? Let's have a look. King Henry VIII's marriage to Anne of Cleves, 187 days. Which now, we have been told by a cameraman, Tom is in the back, he can't see him, but um, he's a big fan of Henry VIII, and she was divorced, is that is right? That, yeah, She divorced. was divorced, so she wasn't yeah. dead. She got off lucky. That's why she lasted longer than Liz, because she didn't die. He's yeah. massive, by the way, he's <laughs> massive. And what else have we got? Let's have a little massive. look. Kim Kardashian's marriage to Chris Humphreys, 72. No, that was a very rocky relationship. Mm. I remember that one. Do you like a bit of Kim, do you, Jamie? Yeah, she's she's wonderful, man. Jamie? Jason? Jamie. <laughs> and it, she's guys, wonderful. Um, I'm really huh? sorry, I've just been interrupted. I had it too. We've got a special guest in the <laughs> studio. The Please, everybody, welcome the official Daily Star Lettuce. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my God. Goodness. Wow, I'm going to wow. take the swim play in. That is amazing. Oh, hi, all oh, the lettuce. Hi, Alex. Wow. Hold on. Wow. Oh, can we get a picture of you next to Liz Truss? Oh, yeah, let's get her in the picture. Oh, let's get her in the picture. Let's get her in the And can you believe she's actually lasted longer? She's looking really fresh. This yeah, lettuce. she does, doesn't she? I'm absolutely she's loving looks it. Like she's just been picked out of the ground. And can you believe we've popped the official one from Four Do It Down? That is amazing. Absolutely right. amazing. Because our budget is that good. It's so good. <laughs> well, hopefully, we dumb down some important issues for you on today's episode. I've been Ethan. And I've been Lauren. And make sure you join us next week when we dumb it down a little bit more. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.